The flare pull actually ticks a lot of different boxes when I'm thinking about working with my younger dog, Fenway, who is a very high energy dog. Flirt pull games for him can involve exercise, mental enrichment, and training all in one go. And he ends up pretty tired afterwards as well. So if you're sitting there wondering what a flirt pull is, it basically is just a long PVC pipe with some rope hanging out of it that tends to be a bungee kind of rope with a toy on the end. Think cat toy just made for dogs is essentially what it is. It's a really great way to do all of those things that I mentioned, exercise, mental enrichment, and training all in one go. And for my dog Fenway, who also is a border collie, it definitely also hits at some of his instinctual needs as well with wanting to stock different things. So some different things to think about before you start to play with the flirt pull with your dogs is I would teach a drop it cue and a get it cue. So teaching your dog to spit something out and then teaching them you can have it back and take it back in your mouth again. I would teach that prior to introducing the flirt pull. I think that's much easier taught on something like a tug toy that doesn't have a bungee and a PVC pipe attached to it. So I'd recommend teaching that first. I've got videos on how to do that, um, but that comes in handy so that we can actually get the toy back from our dogs for the next repetition. The pole end of this does have a loop that you can see there that you could loop around your wrist. In case your dog were to grab this toy and then keep running with it or try to really play tug with it, Fen doesn't pull very hard with the flirt pole. He knows that's not the purpose of the game with it, but the safety strap on the end can be really helpful so that you don't accidentally let go of the pole. If you accidentally let go of the pole, it will projectile into your dog and it could hurt them that way. So that's not a huge huge risk with my little guy, but with your dogs at home, that definitely might be something to consider. Now, like I also said in the beginning of this video, this absolutely keys into his natural instinct to want to stock something. So this is a really, really great exercise and outlet for him to be able to do that. This can also be super helpful if we're trying to prevent our dogs from letting those behaviors out on other dogs or people especially, giving your dog an outlet for their instinctual needs is gonna be extremely helpful here. Now, the way I can build training into this is by asking for different behaviors that Fen knows. So there I was asking for his one-up cue for him to actually um, put his paw up in the air. And the moment he does that, I cue good. And then that means he's allowed to get the toy. Some of the time I say get it, but good to him means you did the thing you're allowed to get access to the reinforcer. Um, this is something that comes, again, very easily to Fen. What you might find that I showed a little bit towards the end of this video is you may need to pick the toy up like I'm kind of I'm actually doing it right here fantastic you might need to pick that toy up and then ask your dog for a behavior that you want instead of just leaving the toy on the ground so here I asked for a one-up again I cued good and the moment I cued good I released that toy for him to go chase If you are going to ask for different behaviors, and this is the first time that you're doing this, I would definitely go for something simple, something that your dog knows really well, Fens are the one-up cue and his eye contact watch me cue. Those are the two that he knows pretty well and they're very easy to ask for in this context. So definitely start small. If you, this is brand new to your dog, ask for simple behaviors. And one more tip is if you're holding the toy up and your dog is trying to fly into you to grab that toy, tuck it behind your back. Don't let them get access to it because then they're gonna learn pretty quickly that just flying into you is how they gain access to that toy. So instead ask them to wait nicely on the ground and nice then cue job. a good and a get it and they can go and have access to the toy at that point. So this is one while you can build training and enrichment into it. Enrichment is basically this entire thing. He's playing, he's having a good time. I'm asking for different behaviors, which is working his brain. And he's getting an outlet for that stalking behavior that's just natural to the fen. 
that's all encompassing in this exercise but remember to have fun with it too it doesn't have to be a strict training exercise let your dog have fun you have fun as well and this can be such a great outlet to tire your dog out fulfill all of their needs for the day and this was that what i filmed this was about a i don't know 20 minute i think 18 20 minute flirt pole session and fen took a good long nap after this. So hopefully this was helpful for everybody and you give it a try with your dogs at home.